Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna try and disable the dedicated GPU on a MacBook Pro. So a friend of mine is getting a new computer and her husband's old computer is a 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro. And it has started to exhibit the problems that this model is pretty famous for, which is the uh, dedicated GPU going out on it. So basically it'll work for a little bit and then it'll start to have graphical interface glitches or it'll just reboot. And I have confirmed that as I've tried to get the data off of this computer for a little bit. And each time the dedicated GPU kicks in, it gives me glitches and reboots and I have to kind of start where I was before uh, I got to that point. So uh, what I'm gonna be using here is a is this page here from DOS Dude. So if you don't know who he is, he actually does the patcher of the Catalina patcher, the Mojave, Mojave patcher for older machines um, to be updated uh, to a more recent version of Mac OS. So that's pretty cool. And uh, he has this solution here. So this seems more like a temporary solution. And in the notes here, he says he's come up with a much uh, better permanent solution to the issue. And going to that page, it does cost money. So uh, understandably, you know, these are these are tools that he makes on his own time and obviously you wanna pay for it. But um, in my instance, I'm gonna use the temporary solution because we're just trying to get the data off of this computer and it is going to be sold. But if you are, um, if you do have one of these computers and you want a more permanent solution, this might be the way to go. Uh, so it looks like it's $60 plus shipping and handling for a flash or $40 if you've already bought a key. So just depending on what you wanna do. So uh, real quick, I'll read the instructions on how we're gonna do this. So uh, what the instructions say here is, first ensure the machine is completely shut down, and then you're gonna want to reset the um, SMC. Then you're going to uh, power up the machine and hold Command plus S. As it boots, you'll see white text on a black screen and it should stop at a prompt, at which time you'll then uh, write down, you'll then type out this one uh, command here, and then you'll enter reboot to reboot the machine. Once that's done, you will then hit command R and if you're running OS 10 at 10.11 or later, it'll boot into recovery mode. And then at that point, you will then type in the command CSR UTIL disable. And once that is done, you'll reboot the system once again, then you should be able to boot into your copy of OS 10. Now, um, if you can't boot into your OS, it could be that the dedicated GPU has just kind of killed everything completely. I'm, I'm not sure how this works. I'm not sure if the GPU just progressively gets worse and worse. I'm assuming that's what happens. But with my instance with this machine, it basically is intermittent because whenever the dedicated GPU is meant to kick in, that's when the problems begin. So it could be different for you. I'm just not sure um, what, you know, what common occurrences are with this. Anyway, uh, after you reboot the system and you get into OS X, you're then gonna download a program, which they have linked there, and then you run the program, follow the links, or follow the prompts, and then enter your password when prompted. And once it's done, it says you should be able to run without the dedicated graphics, and it should work completely normally. So we are going to try this and see if we can get it to work. Now, um, again, this sounds like a temporary solution, so it may not last forever, but it is good that we have some sort of solution to get our data off this computer. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can do it. All right, so as you can see, it does work, um, but like I said, it's gonna be running on integrated graphics for some of the time and then dedicated graphics for the other. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first step here, which is to shut it down. All right, so we're gonna try and reset the SMC as it says in these steps here. So we do have the computer unplugged and we're gonna use the left control option and shift keys and then press the power key for 10 seconds. Okay, so not sure we're gonna get any indication that anything happened, but we're gonna go with it anyway. So now we can plug it back in and turn it back on and we'll go ahead and go through our next step. All right, so our next step is we're gonna boot it into, um, we're gonna boot with Command S. So we're gonna do Command S as we're booting up. So we're gonna press power and then hit Command S. Okay, so we have Command S. Let's see if anything comes up here. All right, it looks like we are good here. All right, so here's the command entered in here. So I just went over and made sure that I got everything correct there. So that's our command. And then we're gonna hit enter. And now we can hit reboot. Now, once we hit reboot, uh, we're, going to hit, we're gonna go ahead and get into recovery mode. So we're gonna type in reboot. It's gonna reboot and then we're gonna do control, command R. So we're gonna immediately hold command R to get into recovery mode here. 
Okay, and we're gonna let that load for a moment here and we should get into recovery mode. All right, once you boot it into recovery mode, you'll come across like the uh, install or initial uh, screens you're gonna see when you install macOS. So what we're gonna do here is uh, go ahead and select your language. And we're not, we're not doing anything with the hard drive, we're just doing a command in the terminal. So once you get here, you want to look for the terminal here. So we are going to look up our utilities and we have terminal right here. So we click that and then we're going to type in a command. So our command that we're typing in here is CSRUTIL disable. So that's C-S-R-U-T-I-L, disable. And then we're gonna hit enter. And that has disabled the system integrity protection and it tells you to restart the machine for the changes to take effect. So now we're gonna go ahead and reboot the machine and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to our next right, step. And here we are back at the computer here. So we have done the first couple of steps here and we are now at the step where we download the program that they offer right here. So uh, you'll wanna go to DOS Dude's website on your laptop once you have done the first steps, which is dosdude1.com slash GPU disable. Once we do that, we can then click to download the program here. Now, uh, one thing you may come across here is if you try to go into it, it may tell you that it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. At this point, you'll then have to go into your settings to change that. So we'll go into the Apple logo right here and system preferences. Main section here, you're going to security and privacy right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit open anyway under this prompt here. So it says MacBook Pro DGPU disabler was blocked from opening because it's from an unidentified developer. We're gonna hit open anyway. And then it's gonna prompt you again. Are you sure you wanna open it? We're gonna say open. Okay, and now we are at the uh, prompt for the program here. So it says this program will disable the jet dedicated GPU on 15 inch or 17 inch MacBook Pro systems that have dual video cards install installed. After this program has finished running, the following things will be done. An NVRAM variable will be set that prevents the machine from using its dedicated video card. The video acceleration drivers, kernel extensions for the respective installed dedicated video card will be removed from the system library extensions directory and backed up to the root of the hard disk. A launch daemon will be installed that prevents the video card drivers from being reinstalled during software updates and ensures that the necessary NVRAM variable is set correctly if PRAM is reset. All right, so we'll go ahead and click next on that. And now it says system compatibility. The system's compatibility has been checked. The program cannot continue if any of the following conditions are not met. So the system integrity protection must be disabled and you must have a compatible machine, of course. Click next here. All right, so it says click next to perform the following actions, which we're applying patches. So we're, they're going to set the NVRAM variable, remove the dedicated video card drivers and install the launch daemon. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next here. Now it should ask for your password, which type you'll, you'll just go ahead and type in and click OK. And now it's running through the program here. OK, and it looks like it has completed all the steps here. So that took just a moment. And then we'll go ahead and click Next. And it says all patches appear to have been installed successfully. Please restart your machine. All right, so now we can go ahead and reboot the machine, and then I'll try a task that previously did not work um, without causing the glitch. So we'll go ahead and try that and uh, see if it works. So let's go ahead and restart it and see what we can do. And uh, it looks like I may have done something wrong here because as you can see, the graphical glitches are still here. So I may need to redo this and try it again. So as you can see, it is uh, pretty bad. So I went back to the command S portion of this and as you can see, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna try and redo that, that command. I'm not going to do the uh, CSR util disable because that's already been disabled, but I'm gonna try and enter this command again, uh, the first command to see if that actually does anything. And then I'm gonna reinstall the program uh, after that to see if it actually works. So while may, you may have thought that this would fix the problem to make it run on integrated graphics and not cause any issues, there are still issues with it, as you can see here. Um, I was, however, able to do more than I previously was able to do uh, when I was trying to get the data off of this. So uh, what screen this is on right now is the Photos app. So what I was trying to do was download all their photos, get the photos onto this hard drive right here, and I got that started. 
and it's still going, as far as I can tell. The little light is blinking on here, so that's good news. Um, so don't expect any miracles with this. Um, I think I did it correctly because it did work better than before, but, you know, just uh, do this at your own risk. Uh, it may or may not help. Uh, the more permanent solution that was offered was obviously the flashing, which I mentioned in the previous part of the video. So that could be another solution if you are keeping your laptop or you don't want to buy a new one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a video on how to do this and uh, maybe it'll help you. Maybe it'll be better than this, but uh, it's really up to you if you guys want to try it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video.